Hey guys, real quick, I had several questions after I posted my last video, which was the rustic Puerto Rican flag. Now in that video, I used this torch to torch the flag. A lot of people questioned me about it because it does not have the propane tank or the little propane cylinder on it. It has a hose and they just kind of want to know how I got that or where I got it. So let me tell you about it. I also had several people ask me about the torch. Nothing new about the torch. I've already made a video on that, and you can find that in the Rustic American Flags playlist on my YouTube channel. But I will tell you, it is a Burnsomatic TS-8000. That's the brand, Burnsomatic TS-8000. It works great. Pull the trigger, flame comes out. If you want to lock it, you can lock it and not have to hold the trigger. You adjust the flame right here. This thing gets much hotter than the original torch I was using years ago. Uh, it's a little more expensive. You get it in big box stores. You can find it on, online, but uh, this tip gets really hot. For safety, let me go ahead and tell you, if you lay it on wood, it's going to scorch it, possibly cause a fire. If you lay it on plastic, it's going to melt it, possibly cause a fire. Don't lay it on anything. Make sure you prop this thing up somehow. The, the drawback to this is you don't really have a way of propping it safely when you use a propane tank connected to it then the propane tank you can set down and that's that's stable but this there's no way to to set it down so i usually prop it on a piece of wood but i prop it right here just like this if you do like this that's going to hold that tip up the tips what gets hot this does not get hot the tip gets hot if you prop that up make sure it's off obviously prop it up and as long as this ends down, because it will be, it should be, because it's heavier, as long as this ends down and that ends up, it can sit there and cool. Just make sure it's not near anything. Again, don't put it anywhere near this propane hose. The propane hose could melt, uh, could cause holes, and could catch on fire. Let me tell you real quick about the propane hose. The hose works great, but let me tell you, they do hold propane. I wanted to test this thing out earlier and I wanted to disconnect it. So I turned the propane off on my 20 pound tank. I wanted to burn off the propane that was in the hose because there's no more coming out of the tank. So I pulled the trigger and it burned at like full throttle for like 45 seconds, only with the propane that was in the hose. Uh, I was shocked. I didn't, didn't know it hold that much propane. It's pressurized, I know that, but uh, it burned for like 45 seconds straight at, at a full flame, just like I was going to torch a flag. So if you're going to use these things, don't use them inside. You got to use them outside. Use them where you can, you can have plenty of free flowing air. Uh, if you're in a garage, make sure the door's open. Make sure you got fans on. You don't want to use this thing inside because uh, you got a flame and then there's you know, a chance of a leak of propane. It's just not safe. So uh, make sure you use it outside. Safety features, I know I have to touch on that. So again, you can find the video on the torch in the Rustic American Flags playlist on my channel. And this hose here, let me go ahead and disconnect it and I'll show you the hose. The way I connected this to the propane tank is I bought this T connector. I didn't buy this for torching flags. I bought this so I could connect two grills at one time. I use this hose for my grill and for my smoker. You can have a grill, if you buy 12 foot hoses, you can buy, have a grill at 12 foot over here and a smoker at 12 foot over here, have them both going, uh, you're kind of away from the heat, it's away from the tank, it's pretty safe. But that's what I bought this for. Now, conveniently, it works for my torch. The propane hose that you buy, and I bought a, an eight foot hose, this end is female, threads on here are male. You just connect this, put this thing on here, I suggest using a wrench and tighten it down good, make sure there's no leaks. And then on this end, where you're using this, the way it connects, where you usually use a propane bottle or a small canister, the threads are the same. These threads are the same as the one pound bottles. You put that in there, you can put it on here, you can put it on your grill, same place, anywhere a one pound uh, propane cylinder or canister works, this hose will work. And then you're good to go. You cut your propane on. I'm not going to do that because there's propane in the air out here now that I disconnected this. But uh, you can pull the trigger and you got fire. It works great. I would suggest getting a longer hose. That way you can have your tank at a distance and you don't have to worry about that. Now once you connect it, turn on your propane, but before you ignite it, run your hand down the propane hose and look for leaks. I had one a couple months ago, and I don't know why, but it sprung about four leaks. And this end right here had bubbled out and it was fixing to blow. So uh, you don't want to have any leaks in this hose while you're using a propane torch. 
uh, I don't, again, I don't know how that happened, but when I, the way I found it, I was using it on my smoker. I turned on the propane and the hose was down near my leg. I could feel something, some air blowing on my leg. I was wearing shorts. So I got looking and there was four, three or four holes in the hose. Um, defective hose, I guess. I don't know. I hadn't used it that long. I threw that hose away, got a new hose, and it's good to go. So always check your propane hose. You don't want any propane floating around wherever you're using a flank. So a lot of times when I'm torching a flag, I will turn the torch like this. It's more comfortable and it's easier to use. So when I do that, if it has a propane cylinder on it, you can feel the propane moving around in there. And a lot of times the flame will not be consistent. Uh, it'll kind of spit and sputter a little bit. It won't be consistent. But with this hose, it is consistent. Nothing changes because your propane's down here. It's right side up. It's pressurized. The same amount of pressure is coming through this hose whether it's right side up or upside down, and it's a consistent flame. Okay, so there's a couple different types of hoses. Uh, I showed you the one that was attached to the T connector there on my propane tank. This one is uh, one that connects directly to the propane tank. This will not connect to the T connector there. And uh, again, this end will hook straight to the torch. If you go out and get either one of these items, make sure you read the instructions and the safety precautions before you use it. It's the safest thing to do for you and everybody around you. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day. See you later, alligator coming from the Terminator. Be American strong. Get your woodwork.